How's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And in today's video, we're going to discuss bodybuilding supplements for beginners. And this is a common question that I'm often asked, uh, something along the lines of, uh, Hey Lee, I just started working out, not taking any supplements yet. What supplements do you recommend? And the truth of the matter is, when it comes to following a bodybuilding program, you really don't need supplements. I mean, I'm not saying that supplements don't help, because they certainly do. I mean, they do play a, a role. But the only thing you really need to build muscle, burn fat, to improve your health and athletic performance is diet and exercise. That is the fundamentals right there. Your, your training routine and a good sound diet. So before you even start worrying about what supplements to take, what brand, what types, how much, all that kind of stuff, let's make sure that you have your training and your nutrition down pat first. Because if you don't have that in place, then the supplements are, are worthless. I mean, supplements are kind of like, uh, you know, trying to put the details on a house before you have the foundation laid, right? If you don't have a solid foundation, it doesn't matter all the details that you put onto the house afterwards because it's all gonna come crumbling down if there's not a solid foundation underneath. So your diet and training is the foundation. Now, once you have that in place, uh, then you can start looking into some nutritional supplements that are going to enhance your nutrition program, enhance your diet, that is. Uh, one of the most popular ones is protein powder. And, I mean, from a bodybuilding point of view, you need a high protein diet in order to provide the raw materials in order to build and repair muscle tissue. Now, you can consume uh, all your protein from solid food and that will work. But the problem with that is a lot of people just either don't have the appetite to consume that much food, or it's uh, inconvenient, because let's face it, most protein food requires a lot of preparation. Whereas if you got a portion of your protein intake from supplements, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, not only that, most protein supplements are actually cheaper on a gram for gram basis than high protein food. So you can actually cut down on the costs of your overall diet by including protein supplements in with your diet. And a lot of people don't even consider protein powder a supplement. They just consider it another source of high protein food. And, and that's the way I look at it. I mean, in fact, you can actually include protein powder with a lot of different recipes. I mean, you can make like high protein oatmeal, you can make high protein pancakes, high protein muffins, and I actually have videos showing how to make all these different uh, recipes. And I'll post a, a link to those videos down in the description below if you wanna go check those out. So protein powder, uh, a basic supplement, and again, most people don't even consider it a supplement. It's just another source of high protein food. Uh, beyond that, another supplement that I recommend, and this one is not as common as protein powder, but it's just as important, is a greens supplement to supplement with greens powder. Just the same as we take a protein powder to supplement our protein intake, you can take a greens powder to supplement your vegetable intake. And a lot of people are deficient in vegetables. I mean, we, we read the, the nutritional media all the time and they say, hey, consume, you know, uh, 10 servings of, of fruits and vegetables a day. But how many people actually do that? Very few. And so taking a greens supplement can help to bump up your vegetable intake. So greens powder is basically just vegetable extracts. And you just take a scoop of this powder, mix it in with a glass of water, a glass of juice. I mean, you can even mix it in with a protein shake for that matter. And that will help to bump up your uh, vegetable intake for the day. I mean, a serving of greens powder extract is about the equivalent of like a half a dozen servings of fruits and vegetables. So if you're not getting enough natural fruits and vegetables in your diet, then green supplements are a must-have to include in your diet as well. Another one that I consider a must-have supplement is essential fatty acids, especially the omega-3 fatty acids. These are the ones that most people are deficient in in their diet, and there's a lot of health benefits to omega-3s. I mean, they, they have uh, immune system boosting benefits, they help to reduce inflammation, uh, they can help to strengthen your joints. I mean, there's a lot of benefits, so you definitely want to be including those. Uh, fish oil supplements are great, especially a good high potency fish oil. Uh, something along the lines of like a krill oil is good. Uh, you can also get uh, plant sources like flaxseed or, or flaxseed oil, a great source of omega-3. Uh, chia seeds, another great source. But you definitely want to be including some form of omega-3 supplement in your diet. 
Another supplement that is a must-have is basic vitamin and mineral supplementation. I mean, a lot of people are deficient in several key nutrients. Uh, things like vitamin D, the B vitamins, magnesium, uh, zinc. Uh, a lot of these vitamins and minerals we are deficient in. And not probably deficient to the point where you're going to suffer side effects of a, you know, a serious vitamin deficiency, but deficient in the, t in the fact that you're not getting optimal levels for maximum performance. Especially if you're in the gym training hard, you're putting extra strain on your body, and you actually need to have more vitamins and minerals to make up for those extra demands and strains that you're putting on your body. So vitamin and mineral supplementation, uh, you know, you could start off with a basic multivitamin, multimineral supplement, and I would also recommend adding in some extra vitamin D, probably a vitamin B complex, uh, some magnesium, zinc, things like that. They would really help to enhance your overall nutritional program. Now, getting into some more performance-oriented supplements. These are the bodybuilding supplements, if you will. Uh, creatine is a great supplement. This is something that's been around for years. It's been proven. It stood the test of time, and it does help. I mean, it's not going to take you from a 98-pound weakling to a 200-pound jack bodybuilder overnight. I mean, no supplement's going to do that. Uh, but creatine will help to uh, enhance your strength and muscular fullness. So, I mean, what it does is basically helps to pull water and nutrients into the muscle cells, helps to make them a bit bigger and fuller, and it will increase your strength in the gym. So, if you're looking for a performance-based supplement, creatine is a good one. And the good thing about creatine is it's relatively cheap. I mean, as far as sports supplements goes, this is probably one of the best bangs for your buck in terms of uh, what you're actually getting for your money. So, just to recap, my top five recommended supplements, protein powder, greens powder, essential fatty acids, vitamins and minerals, and creatine. These are the five supplements that can help move you in the right direction towards your bodybuilding and fitness goals. And they are all valuable supplements, meaning they provide solid nutrition that your body needs, and they are safe and healthy to use over the long term. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to post those down in the comment section below. And stay tuned for my next video coming soon. Take care. Over and out. And just one more thing before you go. I have a special gift for you. It's a free 51-page report called The Three Keys to Building Muscle. This report is an easy read and it covers the fundamentals to getting in shape. Training, nutrition, and mindset. The training section will show you how to combine strength training workouts and cardio conditioning together for building lean muscle while burning body fat at the same time. The nutrition section will show you how to figure out the exact number of calories that you need for your body type and the proper ratio of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. It even outlines a sample daily meal plan that you can follow along with. And finally, the section on mindset will help set you up for success by taking a practical and realistic approach to goal setting and following through with your fitness program. To download your copy, just click on the link in the video description below or visit my website at leehayward.com.